Big Shot, the 16th book in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, written by Jeff Kinney, revolves around the main character Greg Hefley's reluctant foray into the world of organized sports. Up to this point, Greg holds a sorry record when it comes to athletic activities. His previous experiences have generally ended in embarrassment or minor disasters. Despite his poor track record and self-confessed lack of physical prowess, Greg's mother, Susan Hefley, constantly encourages him to step out of his comfort zone and find his niche, something that makes him reluctantly agree to give sports another try. The journey begins with tryouts for the school basketball team. Greg is hopeful because his height gives him a perceived advantage. However, tryouts do not go as planned. Greg quickly finds himself overpowered by more competitive and skilled players. When the teams are announced, it is revealed that he has been placed on the worst team dubbed as the B team, which is mainly composed of other unskilled players who didn't make the cut for the A team. Despite his disappointment, there is a silver lining. Greg is reunited with his best friend, Roly Jefferson, who has also been assigned to the B team. Together, they endure the struggles of being on a sports team, from grueling practices and mismatched skill sets to the questionable coaching methods of their coach, Mr. Nuzzi. Mr. Nuzzi's approach to coaching includes odd drills and an explorable absence of strategy, which does little to improve the team's performance. The B team's matches are unsuccessful, often resulting in high losses. Greg's family attends these games, and while his mother is an enthusiastic supporter, his father, Frank Hefley, and older brother, Roderick, are not as patient or understanding of Greg's athletic challenges. Throughout the season's ups and downs, Greg learns that effort and enjoyment can be just as rewarding as winning, even if it took him a while to realize it. He also gets to know the other players on the team, who are entertaining characters with their own quirks and talents. The narrative includes the typical middle school life and family dynamics that Diary of a Wimpy Kid readers have come to expect. Greg balances his sports commitment with schoolwork, family time, and his attempts to maintain social standing among his peers. Kinney embellishes these moments with his trademark humor, both in text and illustrations, capturing the awkward, often cringeworthy moments that define Greg's world. Throughout the book, Greg's disdain for physical exertion and competitive sports is a recurring theme, but he also starts to see a different side to being part of a team. Their coach, despite his unconventional methods, actually brings the team together, building camaraderie among players. The interaction with teammates, the shared experiences of wins and losses, and the entire whirlwind associated with being part of a team become valuable life lessons for Greg. Even though they are an underdog team, they share solidarity in their struggle to at least try to win games. Heading towards the final parts of the book, the B team experiences an unforeseen success. They make it to a regional tournament by a stroke of luck, courtesy of a technicality that initially disqualifies the superior A team. With this twist of fate, the B team is given a rare opportunity to shine and surpass everyone's low expectations of them. This unexpected turn of events come as a shock not just to the B team, but also to the school and their competitors. In preparation for the tournament, the B team begins to invest more energy into their drills and practices with a newfound sense of purpose. Encouraged by their unlikely success, they start believing in themselves and their ability to compete on a larger platform. Greg, who once had little to no enthusiasm for basketball, becomes wrapped up in the excitement and develops some pride in being part of the team. The tournament games are full of tension and excitement for the B team. They display a level of skill and teamwork they had not previously shown, surprising themselves as well as their opponents. Matches are close, and the team steadily progresses through the tournament bracket, defying all expectations and coming closer to an unprecedented victory for their school. However, as it always does in Greg Hefley's life, things do not go perfectly smooth. During the final game of the tournament, the team's luck begins to falter. Greg, who has up till now managed to be a part of the action without any of the spotlight, finds the ball in his hands during the crucial final moments of the last game. He must now make a decision, take the shot that could lead to victory or pass the ball and avoid the chance of failure. 
The intensity of the moment highlights the growth Greg has undergone, not just as an athlete, but as a character who, despite his reluctance, has embraced the trials and tribulations of being part of a sports team. Big Shot ends with Greg's final decision on the court and the outcome of the tournament's final game. It captures the spirit of youth sports, where the score at the buzzer is not the only measure of success. True to the series' form, the book encapsulates humor, growth, and the awkward moments of adolescence. The story showcases the essence of trying new things and highlights numerous teachable moments about teamwork, perseverance, and personal development. Big Shot, like the other Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, strikes a balance between humor and the portrayal of universal themes relevant to middle schoolers everywhere. The illustrations continue to complement the narrative, adding a visual layer of comedy to Greg's anecdotes and observations. Ultimately, the book reaffirms that success isn't just about winning, it's about growing, finding your place, and the memories you create along the way. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.